Yes, sir. So I guess 2020 is the year of the virtue signals, the SJWs, the panda ring, the pro blacks, the internet warriors, so on and so on. As if it could get any worse, but it will. I remember when I used to turn it on ESPN, I would catch one of those make a wish moments. You know what I'm saying? One of those video clips where it's a less fortunate or a disabled kid. He made a wish to either take a hand off or shoot with his favorite team, high school, college or professional or whatnot. Nobody's ever saying I want to take a hand off from the Cleveland Browns. I don't care what state you're in. I'm just saying. So basically, they lowering the bar so low that it's basically going to turn into what do women want? We're living in womankind. Girls rock. So on and so on. They trying to interject women into every section that males are in to the point they want to call the man cave just a cave. No peace area for men anymore. Let's knock down the patriarchy. It's all about the matriarchy. Girl power. You could do whatever the fuck you want to do, even though it doesn't make any sense. However you look on the outside, it doesn't matter anymore. It's all about how do you feel on the inside. <laughs> everybody on this fucking society, everybody in this society is in a deep state that is going to take a lot to get out of it or you're just going to get stuck in the matrix. I mean, this shit is sad. And this is coming from somebody that plays sports. I caught some girls on teams back in Pop Warner. I'm trying to think in high school. But they didn't play. I remember playing pickup basketball at the Y. There might be one chick. You know what I'm saying? She was nice, maybe. But she would know. Yo, listen, if you want to come play with the dudes, like, ain't nobody going to take it easy on you. You know what I'm saying? So they got this girl out here trotting her out there like a make-a-wish moment. And she's out there looking like special ed with that dumbass kick that she did, man. No disrespect. Shout out to you for, you know what I'm saying, your quote-unquote accomplishment. But I'm, but the make-a-wish moment that I remember is two minutes left in the game. The home team is up by 10. They throw the kid in there. He got his goggles on. He's ready to go. He's in the corner waiting for the ball. They pass it to him. He shoots it, misses it. Second attempt, misses it. Third attempt, finally, with about 20 seconds left in the game, he takes two steps, shoots it. Goes off the backboard. He makes it. Crowd goes wild. This was not one of those situations. I mean, who the fuck is going to go wild that a female came onto a scrub ass Vanderbilt team losing 21 at halftime and she does a squib kick by accident? I mean, I caught one of the interviews and the broad said that she did a kick pooch. <laughs> that just lets you know that the shit was not intentional. It's called a pooch kick. That just shows you you should just stick with soccer. You're not like you're not taking this shit serious. It's just you're I guess you got chosen to be glorified. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Women love when the, all the lights are on them. They're directing that movie in their head where everybody is watching. She's playing all the roles. She's the producer. She does the edits. They called her. You know what I'm saying? Who who who's not going to say sure? Even though she took that opportunity from people that are really deserving of that situation. I don't give a fuck about the COVID. Vanderbilt, you got male soccer players, right? So why the fuck would y'all go to the female side? I understand y'all owing eight, so y'all looking for some type of spark. But your coach got fired. <laughs> you lost 41 to nothing. You're owing eight. She's not even in the locker room with the males. She's in a whole other section getting interviewed after losing 41 to nothing off an intentional squib kick, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. What type of equality are y'all pushing? There's no two things that are different and equal in this world. Women and men aren't equal. We got to stop pushing this nonsense, yo. You got to understand women's sports are women's sports. Men's sports are men's sports. Just let it be what it is. Because if y'all wanted to create football, y'all had the lingerie, yeah, what, what, the, the lingerie league, the lingerie football league. That shit was an epic feel because even though women are running around in little skimpy fits, they got little wedgies and shit like that. And I saw some bras get shoulder checked over the little wall they got, like the arena football. So to be honest with you, there's some old thuggish old lesbians in that league. I ain't, 
let's just keep it funky but this situation right here where they try to her out there like special ed it's not cool like how do you how do the dudes that play on the vanderbilt team gonna feel about this i mean your coach got fired so you can't even look at him with the side eyes but it just shows you that your team your your, your organization your program knows that you have no shot but yet you're not pushing to get out of the sec I mean, nobody probably would have batted an eye at this situation if it was like Alabama, Ohio State, even Michigan, sorry ass, whoever, some respectable team. But it came from fucking Vanderbilt. Nobody's saying, and yeah, Vanderbilt lost 41 nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's saying, oh, she could have kicked that better. I thought she was going to kick it better. Nah, that shit was trash. And we're going to see in these clips, yo. Let's see what they're talking about. Because they're not going to tell the masses that it was an epic fail. They're going to glorify it and whatnot. And they're going to lose ratings. Continue to lose ratings. It is what it is. Out of that history-making event in sports, for the first time, a woman playing in a Power 5 college football game. Janae's here with more on Vanderbilt's Sarah Fuller. Good morning to you, Janae. Eva, these are the kind of girl power stories we love. Last weekend, Sarah Fuller wasn't even on Vandy's football team. She was on the school's championship-winning soccer team, but she got the call this week going from goalkeeper to place kicker with yesterday's history-making moment. So that just lets you know right now that she ain't the sharpest kicker. She's a goalkeeper, which means she's great at her hands. And yeah, she could kick it far because when you're kicking, when you save it or it goes out the end zone, then you kick it from wherever you're kicking. I'm not too familiar with soccer and whatnot. You feel me? I play a little FIFA, but that's another story. But when you kick it after you save it, you kick it pretty far. But it's a big round ball. This is a football. I mean, once you look at where you're kicking, you could kick it. But we're going to see that she needed a holder. She couldn't kick it off of a tee. Some awesome money. You can hear the crowd. Everybody understands what's happening right now. This is a pretty cool moment. It's the history making kick that even she didn't see coming. It used to be like What in the fuck was that? She kicked it from the 35 to where that shit dropped. Like the 37? I mean the objective is to kick it to the other 25 or the other 35 at least. You know what I'm saying? But you're losing 21 nothing. so why aren't you trying an onside kick? I'm pretty sure she could have kicked it and put some little spin on it. But you know why, right? Because she would have to jump in and get busy with the big boys. I don't know why they're trying to interject women out here. You cannot do anything you want. Let's be realistic. But we're dealing with modern day females nowadays in the mad media who's pushing the ideology that you can do anything you set your mind to which further along perpetuates the stupid mindset of these broads. No disrespect. Insult, like, oh, you play like a girl. Like, no, you play like a girl. That is awesome. Then I want it to be that way. Vanderbilt University, Sarah Fuller opening up the second half, becoming the first woman ever to play in any of the top five. Co like, look at this make-a-wish shit. Which one of these dudes is going to get on the camera and, and uh, give a little... Words of encouragement to the male kicker after kicking that shit. They're going to yell, and you're going to see that shit on camera. He knows he's on camera right now. He knows where they're looking at. They're looking at her for that trash shit. She went in there for one play, dude. Football conferences. Honestly, it's just so exciting. And the fact that I can represent, like, the little girls out there who wanted to do this or, you know, thought about playing football or any sport really after several players were forced to quarantine on the university's football team they received a helping hand from their women's soccer team's top senior goalkeeper just days after winning the sec and it's like yo in her shoes she's like damn i just won the soccer championship and now they calling me to play field goal kicker like i don't blame her for doing taking the opportunity and whatnot but listen you could have got the backup quarterback, running back, center, lineman, receiver, DB, safety, linebacker, or even the fucking punter who uses his foot. That you wanted to trot out this fucking special ed case all for publicity and it just all just turned into a petty party. You got to understand that you're just making sports trash. 2020, 
the year of pandering and the virtue signals, yo, it's tearing down sports and the media is not making it any better. Soccer championship. When we we start reaching these goals and like accomplishing these things that we didn't think were possible is because you just put that little bit of extra effort in. Look at that kick, dude. She's kicking the shit like she's trying to hit the top left corner of the goalpost. Get the fuck out of here with this nonsense, man because things were just a little bit harder. Breaking barriers and making a statement that female athletes should always be proud to play like a girl. Whatever you're passionate about, do it 100%. Do not let anyone tell you you can't do it because you can if you set your mind to it. If it's realistic, man, but girls, if you're thinking about playing football, just just dump that idea in the trash, man. Do something that you were put on this earth to be great at. There's no great woman football players. Let's just be realistic. It's 2020, so we just got to be realistic, man. And all this shit is just a pity party. And it's just a laughing stock at Vanderbilt. Like, I feel sorry for your future prospects. Because they're going to be trash. They're just going to be the dudes that just really want to play football that can't play where they really want to. And whoever's there right now, I hope y'all requesting to be transferred. Because Vanderbilt's a, tr it's a joke. Fuck football at this point, right? <laughs> one small kick for Vandy football, one giant feat for womankind. Sarah says next Saturday when Vanderbilt plays Georgia, she'd love to be back out there and score a field goal. And the coach says he... Bro says score a field goal, and I'm pretty sure that she said that shit verbatim. That's all they're worried about, what she's going to do. They're not even worried about the team being trash. They're not even saying that the team is 0-8, the coach got fired. All she's worried about what she can do. She's not even worried about them actually getting a win, dude. That's just woman for you. In a nutshell, the liberal females, modern day broads, all these broads are only concerned about them. They're born narcissists. And in this age, to where they got all these quote unquote fans, simps, and everybody telling them, don't listen to what these men are telling you and shit like that. I'm telling you, if men don't put their foot down, this shit is only going to get worse. I mean, this shit is tragic right now. Love to have her again. And guys, I have to say, as a woman who graduated from the University of Missouri, it was a double win. <laughs> a big day for women, a good win for the Tigers. Man, you should have really said, what was the score of that, man? And nobody's really, like, saying a joke or anything like, oh, that kick was trash. Oh, she could have kicked. I thought she was going to kick it better. Or was that how that was supposed to go? Nobody's really asking questions because... The backlash, the replies or anything. They're trying to brainwash you to just accept what you see. Coming from somebody that plays sports, this shit is trash right here, man. There's nothing competitive about this. She went out there for one fucking play and that's makes history. Yo, throw up on yourself to everybody included on this nonsense. That's no shame to her, yo. You know what I'm saying? She's young and innocent. She wants all the attention she can get. It's natural. I understand it. I get it. But at the end of the fucking day, dude, men need their space. Women need their space. Why don't we just have a co-ed sports league, right? That shit would never work out. Save that shit for the recreational leagues, for the washed up adults in your local cities, man. To where the competition level basically is just, we're all here for fun. You know what I'm saying? Save that shit for when you can't play sports seriously no more, man. Nobody out here has time for that, yo. I don't know, man, but this shit is just trash, yo. I gotta, I, I'm just thinking like, yo, the pandering's gotta stop. I know I'm not the only one that's thinking like this, dude, but Sarah Fuller, man, shout out to you, but the rest of the world, throw up on yourself. I'm out.